The Charmouth Mudstone Formation is a geological formation in England, dating to the early Jurassic. It is most prominently exposed at its type locality in cliff section between Lyme Regis and Charmouth but onshore it extends northwards to Yorkshire, and in the subsurface of the East Midlands Shelf and Wessex Basin. The formation is notable for its fossils, including those of ammonites and marine reptiles and rare dinosaur remains. Because ammonites and their close relatives are extinct, little is known about their way of life. Their soft body parts are very rarely preserved in any detail. Nonetheless, much has been worked out by examining ammonoid shells and by using models of these shells in water tanks. Chondrosteus is remotely related to sturgeons and paddlefishes. Similar to sturgeons, the jaws of Chondrosteus were free from the rest of the skull. Its scale cover was reduced to the upper lobe of the caudal fin like in paddlefish. The tail of Dipedium was short and stout, providing the power for a sudden change in direction while the fish was swimming. Its upper jaw was movable and could protrude from the mouth, enabling a wider gape to capture larger prey. Individuals of Squalaraja are characterized by their flattened, ray-like bodies, enormous, flattened rostra that comprise half of the body length, and, in males, a long, horn-like process. Hybidus varied dentition would have allowed it to opportunistically exploit a variety of food sources, sharper teeth would have been used to catch slippery prey, while the flatter teeth probably helped them crush shelled creatures. The males also possessed claspers, specialized organs that directly insert sperm into the female, and which are still present in modern sharks. Ichthyosaurus ear bones were solid, probably transferring water vibrations to the inner ear. Even so, anatomical features demonstrate that it was a visually oriented predator, it had huge, sensitive eyes, protected by bony shields. Coprolites of Ichthyosaurus reveal that its diet consisted of fish and squid. Leptonex is the type genus of Leptopterygidae group of ichthyosaurs that had specialized upper jaws that protruded beyond the end of the lower jaw. This group of ichthyosaurs are sometimes envisioned using these snouts to stir up sediment on the sea floor to find buried prey, however because their jaws resemble those of swordfish it is thought that they may have used them like swordfish to kill prey. Much like its plesiosaur cousins, Atenborosaurus was piscivorous. From the skin impression found with the bones, which was later destroyed, it is presumed that the creature had membranous skin, devoid of any significantly large scales, probably for decreasing water resistances. Plesiosaurus fed mainly on clams and snails, and is thought to have eaten belemnites, fish and other prey as well. Its U-shaped jaw and sharp teeth would have been like a fish trap. It propelled itself by the paddles, the tail being too short to be of much use. Its neck could have been used as a rudder when navigating during a chase. 
Plesiosaurus gave live birth to live young in the water like sea snakes. The young might have lived in estuaries before moving out into the open ocean. It has been postulated that the long neck of Plesiosaurus would have been a hindrance when trying to speed up any bend in the neck creating turbulences. Turnersicus is interesting as much of recognized the Latisuchian features had yet to fully evolve. Due to its relatively long, slender snout, it would have looked similar in appearance to the currently living Gario crocodiles, which are found in all the major river systems of the northern Indian subcontinent. Like many pterosaurs, Demorphodon has been perceived as a saurer in the past, correlating to historical perceptions of pterosaurs as seabird analogues. However, more recent studies show that the animal was actually a rather poor flyer, its wings are proportionally short in relation to the body and its skeleton rather robust, offering very little gliding potential. In life, Dimorphodon probably relied on frantic short flights in the same manner as modern fowl and woodpeckers, being unable to fly for long distances and probably only taking to the air as a last resort. Like most other Thyreophorans, Solidosaurus is known to be herbivorous. However, while some later Ornithischian groups possessed teeth capable of grinding plant material, Solidosaurus had smaller, less complex leaf-shaped teeth suitable for cropping vegetation and jaws capable of only vertical movement, due to a short jaw joint. Another similarity with the stegosaurs is the narrow head, which might indicate a selective diet consisting of high-quality fodder. However, Barrett pointed out that for an animal the size of Solidosaurus, with a large gut allowing efficient fermentation, the intake of easily digestible food of high energetic value was less important than with smaller animals, that are often critically dependent on it. The Beacon Limestone Formation, historically known as the Junction Bed, lies above the Durham Formation and below the Bridport Sand Formation. It is well known for the Strawberry Bank Lagerstadt, which contains the three-dimensionally preserved remains of vertebrates, including marine crocodiliforms, ichthyosaurs and fish, as well as insect compression fossils. Cacharis is an extinct genus of fishes in the family Caturidae in the order Amiaforms, related to modern bowfin.
Length of Leptolepis was about 8 cm long, and superficially resembled the unrelated modern herring. While more basal teleosts such as Phalodophorus had skeletons composed of a mixture of bone and cartilage, it resembled modern teleosts in possessing a skeleton completely made of bone. Stomach contents of lepidotes from the early Jurassic of England have found remains of crustacean cuticles, and it is suggested that they fed on relatively soft-bodied prey, which was grasped with the slender marginal teeth, before being crushed by the palatal teeth. Pachycormus has generally been considered basal among pachycormiforms, with a recent phylogeny finding it to be the second most basal pachycormiform. It grew up to one meter in length. The teeth are short and designed for grasping. Its ecology has been interpreted as that of a generalist predator. The snout of Hophiopteryx is short, but also very thin, tapering to a point. The outer surface of the tooth crowns is smooth, and the back teeth are larger than those in front. The upper jaw is slightly longer than the lower jaw. The habits of Stenopterygius spp. were similar to those of present-day dolphins. They spent most of their lives in the open sea, where they hunted fish, cephalopods, and other animals. The abdominal cavities of skeletons of this ichthyosaur often contain the remains of such food. It was a very fast swimmer, with a cruising speed similar to that of tuna, which is among the fastest of all living fishes. Pelagosaurus was well adapted to aquatic life, it had developed a long, streamlined snout, a tail with fin-like attributes and paddle-like limbs for swimming in the warm, shallow waters of its time. It had 30 teeth suitable for hunting and grasping fish. Its forward-facing eyes and streamlined body suggest that Pelagosaurus was a pursuit predator, rather than a scavenger or ambush hunter. The formation consists of mudstone and siltstone, partly laminated and bituminous, medium to dark gray in color, with rare fine-grained calcareous sandstone beds. Limestone and phosphatic nodules are present at some levels. Dinosaur remains are among the fossils that have been recovered from the formation, although none have yet been referred to a specific genus so they don't appear in this part of the video. One of the more notable discoveries is the skull of the pterosaur Parasocephalus. The members of the genus Gyrosteus were massive fishes, with a maximum calculated standard length of 6 meters, and with a reported hyomandibula reaching 50 centimeters. Romaliosaurus may have been able to pick up scents while submerged by forcing water through passages in its skull containing sensory organs. This adaptation would have enabled it to hunt its prey in a similar manner to some modern shark species. Hophiosaurus is a plesiosaur of medium size, measuring 3 meters. The skull measures about 43 centimeters along the midline. The holotype is an adult individual, 
but incomplete fusion of the pectoral and pelvic girdle indicate it is not an old adult. As a living animal, Microcletus would have been a more specialized hunter of fish than its shorter-necked brethren. This would seem to be the trend taken by the Pisivorous plesiosaurs as they progressed through the Jurassic, something that was in stark contrast to the shorter-necked, large-skulled pliosaurs like Liopleurodon that were distantly related but evolving to hunt marine reptiles like plesiosaurs. The alum shale member of the Whitby mudstone formation where the Parasocephalus was found, was probably deposited in an oxygen-poor, shallow water environment. The pterosaur has been tentatively referred to the Rampharynchinchini subgrouping of Rampharynchids, but it may represent a basal member of the group instead. Traditionally a passivorous lifestyle is attributed to Campylognithoids, as to most pterosaurs, in this case supported by the provenance of the finds from marine sediments and the very long wings. <laughs>